From fields, highways, and sidewalk curbs, they are watching. You may drive past them every day and not even know they exist. Yet every day, they emerge from underground to stand sentinel on the outskirts of the city. These are our neighbors, the western burrowing owls, and soon they may be moving out for good. For decades, the owl population of Santa Clara Valley has been in decline, as habitat has been lost to development. Burrowing owl advocates believe that now is the time to reverse that trend. Dr. Lynn Trulio, wildlife biologist. So the burrowing owl's natural history is, is relatively unique. Um, they are the only owl in the world that lives in nests underground. The way it works is the California ground squirrels dig lots of burrows and the burrowing owls come in and take over one of those burrows. They're actually very beneficial to have around as far as humans are concerned because they eat small rodents and uh, insects. In the 1980s, there were hundreds of pairs of burrowing owls in Santa Clara County. Because at that time, Santa Clara County was very agricultural and was moving from an agricultural to a suburban type of land use. As Santa Clara County boomed, many of those open grassland areas were seen by developers as great places to cover with housing, with computer companies, with light industrial burrowing owls lost their habitat. Today, only 40 pairs of burrowing owls remain in Santa Clara County. Once emblematic creatures of the valley, now they are found in just a few marginal locations in the North County. Shoreline Park, Mission College, Alviso, and open lands off Highway 237. These are the areas we must protect. Jack Barclay, Senior Wildlife Biologist. Burrowing owl conservation is, is something that we can do. Um, it's not impossible. We've faced conservation challenges with individual species that are much greater than burrowing owls. It's not complicated. The owls already know where they want to live. We can easily create a series of sanctuaries in those areas to provide them with permanent homes. If we can make room for soccer fields and bike trails, we can certainly save space for burrowing owls. This is an animal that really doesn't ask for much as far as its habitat requirements. There is ample space in the Santa Clara Valley to maintain numerous colonies. You don't necessarily need one great big huge area set aside for owls. If you have multiple smaller areas and they're all located within of several miles of each other, that can support a healthy owl population. These habitat reserves will need to be managed. The worst thing you can do is put a sign up around it and then walk away and don't ever go back and do anything. There has to be some kind of active management and that's usually in the form of grazing. It keeps the vegetation low, open and sparse. Santa Clara owls show the future of owls in California. How we are able to protect owls here in Santa Clara County is the model, and hopefully a good model, for how other people and other places around California can protect their owls. Burrowing owls belong here as a natural part of our ecosystem. Long before concrete and asphalt covered the valley floor, 
they were making homes in the ground. If we can preserve their habitat and manage it well, we will ensure that they stay on our fields. Into the future, they will stand sentinel on the outskirts of the city. But this time, if we are fortunate enough to pass by, we will notice our little neighbors. These owls need your voice. Stand ready to write letters, meet with city council members, and speak for the owls at public meetings. The owls are counting on you to reverse the trend. The documentary could be used to help educate decision makers who really don't realize uh, how threatened and endangered this animal is in our local preserves and don't realize what a big deal it is to, to people who are interested in brewing out conservation. Younger people are, are becoming more and more distant from that and so we're really interested in finding ways for young people to get out um, into the natural world and experience it. And if it's right at your footstep, like the Burrowing Owl often is in, in Santa Clara County, it's, it's something that we can really capitalize on. So I think it's, it's a benefit for that, for that reason. So. There, uh, there needs to be a point where the degradation of the habitat stops, and I think Santa Clara Audubon is addressing that. And uh, they're the envy of all the Audubon societies in California because they have taken such a a proactive approach towards working with government. And it's sad to see the loss of habitat, but then developers and burrowing owls like the same real estate, a nice flat area with a view of the bay. We do have some owls out there. We're hoping that they'll um, breed. These owls actually came from one side of the property that, that was on the development part, so they evicted them out, and now they found the new habitat. So we're very, very happy about that. So. Well, the fact that they're down there now is because right now there's extensive agriculture, but there's the same urban pressure in those areas as there are now. And we certainly don't want burrowing owls to be in only two parts of the state. The more diverse areas that they are, the more chance that they will survive. We need a sanctuary. I think it's important at this time and, uh, and in the place of Santa Clara County that we consider the owl a natural resource that needs to be preserved, uh, just as we have historical places and parks in San Jose and Santa Clara County that are, are important to us and we preserve them. The owl is part of our natural history and we need to have a place where they are preserved and where they can uh, continue um, Owls thrive. are pretty unique in that certain populations are able to live pretty close to human populations, like down in the Imperial Valley. Um, you can approach one within 10 feet and they don't even get startled, um, but that's kind of a unique population down there. So I definitely think that we can um, live side by side by these animals, but uh, definitely have to preserve their homes and their habitats and make sure that people aren't just um, willy-nilly, you know, running over them with their tractors and bulldozing over their homes. And, um, it's valuable. Growing owl management plan on Shoreline Park, but even there, there are pressures. Uh, there recently, a, a, a city master plan that uh, advocates um, playing field development that may or may not uh, impact the, the general viability of, of that population. I think the master plan should really look into the future and preserve the most the scarce of our resources, which is open and natural landscapes. This is becoming very rare around the Bay and I think when we're looking at different resources and how we can use them, we need to take a long view and say what are we really losing 
and preserve those. I think it's important to use the documentary to educate anyone who is not that familiar with um, those at Cooper's Hall. Uh, but owls have had millennia to figure out what good habitat is for them. And, you know, the places they've chosen, they uh, um, have been, um, since owls have very excellent site fidelity, the, the same pair will go back to the same location to nest in subsequent years. And the young will come back to the site. So, um, so eliminating the site is basically we started this project two months ago and believe it or not prior to that time I had never even seen a borrowing owl now I have owl fever we go out every weekend to the locations where the owls live we find them and we film them and their habitats I've become an owl advocate after all these precious little creatures can't advocate for themselves we humans have to take on the task of promoting their preservation. And I love the owls. Every time I come out and that little bird cocks its head and looks at me with those big yellow eyes, my heart would just melt. Um, One of the great things about burrowing owls is that they line their burrows with their dung. So there's a real uh, great synergy between a burrowing owl and a wastewater treatment plant. We're really all in the same business. So it's a really great opportunity here at the plant. Really wonderful stuff. With the owl. Well, the burrowing owl used to have a very large habitat, but with all the development, most of the habitat's been destroyed, and there's very little habitat left for these, these creatures. And, you know, as each little piece of land gets developed for whatever use, whether it's for a golf course or a soccer field, it's no longer habitat for the owls. And, uh, there needs to be uh, an area to maintain the population so people can enjoy them and they also contribute to the diversity of the wildlife in the area um, and help maintain a balance. And I just wanted to let you guys know that we're so lucky that we have them here in Mountain View. I used to live in Sunnyvale over by Mission College and just about the time I moved I got to see complete destruction of them so that they could put in a strip mall. So I am hoping to God that that just doesn't happen here in Mountain View. And if you like the borrowing owl as much as me, you'll help save them. We need a sanctuary. To educate people who know a little bit about burrowing owls, but not the whole story. Um, I think we want it to be used to inspire people who are interested in saving burrowing owls, conserving uh, landscapes for burrowing owls, to inspire them to stay engaged in the process, to write letters, to show up at meetings. There are a lot of competing interests, so there's no clear-cut answer of we should do this or we shouldn't do that. But we do know that societies ultimately are judged by how they respond to the weakest and most vulnerable members of its society. And the burrowing owl has been pushed to the limits of extinction here in the Santa Clara Basin. And as one of the last places where these owls are found, I believe we do have an obligation to protect the owl and to make sure that it has a home here for the future.